Welcome to the Quick Rep Report Generation Tutorial Part 1. The first step is to specify the report requirements in simple language. Our example is a freight management request that would be typical of a report needed for a specific purpose but not readily available in reporting regularly provided for operations. Handwritten notes would be acceptable but a computer-generated document has the advantage of legibility and may be stored in a folder for future reference. Referencing the document titled Quick Rep Sample Report Requirements, the statement summarizes the report requirements. That is, we're looking for a report of inbound shipments over 200 pounds within a given period. And each of the subsequent headings in the report corresponds to an item in the Quick Rep Report Generation menu. It is a transition document that may be used to verify the specifications with the original requester. Although the names of the data attributes cited may not be precisely those ultimately selected from the DBMS dictionary, they serve to make the transition. Hence, after serving as the verification document, it may then be used as a source document for entering the Quick Rep request. The first step in generation of the Quick Rep request is the selection of the file in the database that is central to the request. The fact that we are looking for current shipping information leads us to select the shipment analysis current file. From the list. In the report drop down, report is selected. It may be useful to examine the existing reports drop down to see if there is an existing report that may be used or modified to satisfy the request. After perusing the list, we decide to create a new report. We enter video sample as the name. We use an underscore there. We don't want to put any blanks in the name. It's a technical thing. So upon creating the report and selecting the Create New Report button, the report generation menu is presented along with the General Specifications page. Typically, the defaults are used for the general parameters. Help is available to explain each of the parameters by selecting the Help box beside each. Upon selecting the column header suppress, help, a box is displayed that describes the use of the parameter. Clicking anywhere in the box removes the display. In our example, we will accept the default settings for the general parameters. The Update Record button is selected to save the specifications. Checking back with our Quick Rep Sample Report Requirements document, the Record Selection is first on our list of specifications. We wish to analyze inbound shipments over the carrier limit of 200 pounds. To begin, we select Selection from the Report Generation menu and locate Direction the attribute list. And select EQ as the operator, which is the default. We also then in the comparison value enter I which is the code for inbound. In the next line, we select an AND because we want it to be an, that the logical 
connection between the two is going to be an AND rather than an OR. And we find weight in the drop down. Enter that and indicate that we want the weight in the operator to be um, greater than 200. So we select the GT greater than and enter the value 200 in the comparison value. Now, in order to have, spe uh, to have some uh, flexibility in specifying the date range when we run this report, we set the invoice date to be selected within a range specified at the time the report is executed. And to do this, first of all, we select the invoice date. in the drop down. We say we want the invoice range to be greater than or equal to a certain value. And instead of putting it in the comparison value, we put it in the inline prompt as start date. So that at the time the report is run, this will be prompted and the value of the start date will be entered by the person running the report. The same goes for the second part of this logical connector. Um, again, we click in the invoice date and instead of greater than or equal to, we say less than or equal to because it's the end of the um, period. And instead of comparison value, we put end date. And of course, again, at the time uh, the report is run, this will be prompted right after the start date to indicate the end of the range that's desired. Now, upon completion of these uh, uh, record selection specifications, we click the Update button to save them. Checking back with our re sample report requirements document, next on our list we specify the list of attributes that we want to display left to right on the report. Branch ID, branch name, all the way through to weight and freight cost. To begin, we select display attributes from the report generation menu and then we first we should caution that uh, the attribute names in the DBMS dictionary may not match the names in common use within the organization as the dictionary has evolved with naming often assigned by technical personnel where the attributes are often used for various purposes. The most appropriate attributes are selected from the attribute name drop-down as follows. For branch ID, there is branch number. For branch name, there is customer, and there are various fields or attributes that could be used for customer. Well, we're going to select customer 10, which means the first 10 characters of the branch name. Uh, next, we want to have we want to have the carrier. So we'll again, in this case, thankfully, they use the same name as the common usage. And for the origin of the shipment, again, surprise, surprise. The word is origin, and in addition, that's the origin of city. 
So we want to also have the province or state. So origin province is the attribute that we select. Shipment date is of course called invoice date. Fortunately, you get to know these very commonly used fields or attributes fairly quickly as a user of QuickRap uh, when you get when you know the uh, database. Weight is weight. Thank, thank, thank goodness. Now, there's a another tricky one is the freight because there are a whole lot of different attributes used for. Uh, freight, some including taxes, some not, and so on. So uh, it just happens that the attribute that we are looking for is the one called tote. And that is basically total freight. Now upon completion of the attribute display specification, once again, we click, click the uh, update record button to save the specifications. Now this completes part one of the quick rep report generation tutorial. See the uh, part two of the tutorial for the remaining report specifications for our sample report.